can see your husband is at it again. And how does it concern you? Justina, it's none of your business. Justina, why are you punishing yourself this way? Why have you chosen to live like this? You're the one punishing yourself by interfering in my marriage. Oh, please don't call this self-inflicted agony marriage. No, this is not marriage. My friend, wake up. My dear friend, I have known you for a long time. You used to be all fresh and vibrant during our NYSC days. Young, beautiful. Take a look at you. Suffering a seven-year-old marriage without a child. Evelyn, please let me be. I don't need this your preaching. I don't think I need it. No, you need my preaching. Because you tend to be pretending like, oh yes, everything is fine. I'm enjoying my marriage. No, you are not. Okay, now let me ask you. Of what use is it for you to live this kind of life? Beating, poverty, where you don't know where you will end up after life on earth. I will surely make it in life. As long as God is alive. But even if I couldn't make it in this life, I believe there's hope for me in heaven. Yeah, right. Heaven. Please don't be deceived by those unconfirmed promises of your Bible. My dear, heaven and hell are very unsure, uncertain. Okay, now, what happens if you find out that there is no heaven or hell after death? I have faith. Faith? <laughs> faith? And that's all you leave with? Oh, come on, don't be foolish, my dear friend. A bird at hand is better than a thousand in the air. Make a decision, my dear friend. Live a life. Get out of this hell you call marriage. Make the right decisions. Rather than wallowing your thoughts in a place where you are very unsure of. Life is too short to fritter away. Evelyn, I will not, I will never, ever join your world of wishes. No. I will never sell my soul to the devil for material gains. No. Go ahead and enjoy your wealth. But remember, nothing lasts forever. And so is the money gotten from the devil. It's alright. I've heard you. No. By the way, have you seen Chinwe lately? She's looking so young and fresh. You need to see her. Chiwi. Think, my dear. What have you done with her? You evil. What have you done with her? You evil. That's how you're going to end up. See her slippers and her handbag. By weekend. <laughs> I'm fine, how are you? Ah, when did you return from New York? <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> oh, mm, I like you. I I want to ask for a little favor. Yes, I need like five million naira to start up the project here in the village. I've already used the other money you gave me now. I used it for something else. Mm -hmm. You don't have money? But you just got back from New York and you told me you were going for a business meeting. 
which automatically means that you're coming back with profit. Except you were lying to me. You don't have Hello, 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 oh, oh, Laji. Mm. Okay, so, what are you saying? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I know I can always rely on you, eh? <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay, okay. Yes, I'll send my account number right now, but you have to save it all. For future purposes, you know. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll call you later. Mm. Bye. Sister, good morning. Mm. You're already awake. Mm. Morning, Chama. I had an urgent uh, call. Mm. Sister, okay. Hi. Sister, Egamaka. Money is good. Look at the way you're looking very, very beautiful. Sister, connect me now. Connect your sister. Choma, I thought we had discussed that I'm going to expand your tailoring business for you. Sister, uh, we, that's what we discussed, but the truth is I've thought about it and um, I don't feel like going back to that business. I work so hard and earn very little. Sister, look at you. You work so little and earn big amount of money. Connect me. Please, connect me so I can be making big money like you. I am not into any kind of business or work as you call it. I'm just a PA to a rich man in government. Sister, happy That's all. Sister, happy yeah. Leave that thing. Do I look like a dummy? Despite my poor academic qualification, I'm still sharper than you know. Yes, you think I believe that Kokambu story you told mama? I don't. Sister Mam, what's up? Connect me. Tell me what's up. And I promise I will keep it as a secret. You know I don't talk too much. Please. Meaning? Meaning someone's personal assistant can be building two houses within the space of one week. It's not possible. Except you're into other things you don't want to discuss with me. Maybe you wrong. Bia, Bia, Choma. I won't take any insult from you this morning. Do you understand? I will not. If you think it's wrong, then go ahead and do it. Since you want, you know everything. Madam Inquisitive. Sister, connect me now. It's not insult. Connect me. Come up and make fun of If it's wrong, then we're in assets. Then you need to Please. me often and never dare to lay his fingers on me why don't you do the same mama justina will stay in this house a day without getting me angry with her stupid behavior mama for seven years seven years we've been married mama no child in this house 
And you think beating her is the best solution? I will continue to beat her and beat her until she leaves my house, Mama. I will beat her! And you, what are you doing here? Your friend is not around. What are you doing here? It is you I have come to see. You dare walk into my house with such audacity? Listen, I saw your wife, my dear friend, with another woman on her face today. All thanks to you. <laughs> Listen, don't tell me she sent me here to tell me this. This nonsense! Because I won't buy into it, you hear me? And I will make sure I kill her tonight. That is if you leave to see tonight. Listen, I have endured your wickedness and savagery and heart and life. I have come to pay you back in your own coin. I'm sorry you had to lose your son like this. But your son does not deserve to live with a one. I'm sorry, but you did not see any of this. Wise one, I finally got my revenge. <laughs> good, very good. The great mother awaits your gift of thanks. I'll definitely come to the temple to show my appreciation. But I don't know how to go about it. Your friend will tell you what to do. Thank you, White Man. What are you doing here? Wait. Shoma, you must understand that I had a reason for whatever I did. What perfect reason do you have for selling your soul to the devil? Chimando, how could you? How could you? I had to avenge the Yuchuku's death. By sacrificing a human head? I didn't sacrifice anyone. Whatever I sacrificed belonged to me. Oh, Diego. I knew it. I knew there were more to what you were into than what you told Mama and I. Listen, I, Choma, am not a dummy. Chimwendo, you are a cultist. You are a ritualist. Speak, use your voice now. Why are you shouting? Eh? Mama may hear you from inside. You know she has health issues. Let Mama hear. Let her hear. Let me even ask you, how many years more do you have left? How many years more do you have left? What sort of stupid question is that? Are you not happy that whoever killed our brother has paid for it? Let me even ask you, who is the girl the woman from the mirror asked you to go and meet? I'm sure you're getting ready to sacrifice another human head, isn't it? Isn't it, Chimwendo? Okay, fit you, man. Which sacrifice? Human sacrifice, Mama. Mm -mm, my friend, keep quiet. Do you know what you're you're saying? What is going on here, Chimwendo? Please, hey, talk to me, Chimwendo. You better start talking to her before I talk to her myself. Okay, now, Bere Maya. Okay, Mama. Your daughter Chimwendo is a cultist. 
Yes, she's a ritualist. I saw her communicating in the mirror last night and here she is confirming to me what I saw last night, that she's a ritualist. She has been killing people. Tell me it's not true. Mama, I... I joined so they could help me avenge Izuchuku's death, which they did. Oh, I am finished. <laughs> Mama, I am finished. Mama, ask her how she made the money she has been spending building houses up and down. Ask her how she made the money. How many years more do you have to live? How many? Mama, Biko. Biko, don't mind her. Biko. Biko. <laughs> And here you are blaming me. If anything happens to Mama, I will finish her, your, your, your cultic people. Mama, 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 Mama stand up. Mama, Biko, wake up. Justina, please take it easy. Please. But why? Why would that snatch Fred away from me just like that? Why? Was he sick? I mean, was, was something wrong with him? My husband was hell and healthy when I left him yesterday. He was here discussing this more. Uh, did your mama tell you anything? I mean like how he died, what happened to him? Mama was sleeping in the room when she suddenly heard a sound. Coming out to meet his son choking. Fred died right in her arms. Oh, it's okay. Yes, I know it's very painful. But at this point, there is really nothing we can do. Nothing. But why? In what way have I offended God? Why will he take Fred away from me so soon? Why? What have I done wrong? <laughs> okay, if you're acting like this, what do you want Mama to do? <laughs> what have I done wrong? In what way have I offended God that they will take my husband away from me so soon? You have to pull yourself together so that you can see how much you Calm down. Eh? Um, but if you ask me, I would say your husband's death is the right thing. At least it will make you come back to your senses. Eve! Are you here to console me? Or to give me senseless advice. Relax, my dear friend. If leave my house. I can leave my house. Get out! I am here for both. Leave my house! Okay, okay. Leave my house. Mama. I thought she's your best friend. <laughs> Make sure nothing happens to Mama. Doctor. What's the situation? Please, how is my mother? How is my mother? We tried how we could to revive her. She didn't make it. No. Tell me you're not telling me the truth. Tell me you're lying to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Nos, give me the next one. What about yourself? You should be. What about you do? What about you against you? She 
when I'm talking to you and you're just going like that? Eh? I believe you're not deaf. Why are you acting as if you can't hear me when you can? I saw you putting your things in the boot. Where are you going to? What sort of stupid question have you been asking me? I'm going back to the city. When are you coming to take me? Take you? Yes. Have you forgotten about what we discussed last week? And I said no. Yes. You cursed Mama's death with your white mouth. And I said yes. You must introduce me to your cult. I want to be rich like you. Are you insane? Are you stupid? First of all, why are you shouting outside? Why would you even think of something like that? Do you know what it takes to join? Do you? When I get back to the city, I'll send you a million naira to fix yourself up. What do you You want to give me how much? A million naira? That chicken change, okay? I don't need your million naira. My friend, don't be greedy. Have you ever seen 100,000, talk less of 50,000 naira your entire life? Listen, I haven't seen 50,000 Naira before. That's why I want you to introduce me to your cult, so I can see one million Naira and they both. Otherwise. Otherwise what? Otherwise I will tell the whole village how you killed Mama and used her for money rituals. Everybody will hear you. Hey, don't shut me up. Listen, Chimando, I give you 30 days. 30 good days to consider my offer. Else. I will tell every soul in this village how you killed Mama and used that for money ritual. I will use megaphone and speak to every soul in this village. Everybody will hear your gist. 30 days, Chiwendo. 30 days. Consider this thing and come and pick me up. If you don't. Bring your voice down now. Chiwen, you mean this whole thing? have been happening, and you never bothered to tell me? My dear, I was so devastated. I didn't know my mother was going to die so soon. Chima, it's okay. It's all right. Such is life. But was your mother sick? I mean, was something wrong with her? Not really. It was all my fault. I... I don't understand. What happened? Eve. You were right. There's really no complacent feeling that comes with revenge. After I killed my uncle, I just... I just felt empty. And it brought me lots of trouble. What kind of trouble? My sister caught me speaking with Omelum through the sacred mirror. And then she started attacking me with words. My mother overheard us and confronted me. I had no choice but to accept. She died of heart attack. What? You mean you told your mother you belong to a cult? She overheard my conversation with my sister. And, and then since my mother was buried, my sister has been insisting that I must initiate her into the circle. So why didn't you use the oblivion spell on her when she saw you in the first place? Oblivion spell? Yes, the oblivion spell. Now listen, Chime. You are now a descendant of Ikewis. And you have enormous powers to do virtually everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. The oblivion spell is is something you cast on another person who you don't want to remember any incident that happened. That's great. So why don't I just use it on her right away? My dear, it is too late. It only works within 24 hours. I'm sorry I didn't tell you earlier. I'm finished. 
Ha! I am finished. My sister is insisting that if I do not initiate her into the circle within the next 30 days, she's going to tell the whole village and everybody that I killed my mother and used her for rituals. I think she's really desperate. Maybe you should allow her. Never. What? Ben, do something else. Maybe offer her some money. Maybe a cash of two million naira. That could spin her brain. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Eve. <laughs> Thank you. You're always welcome. And now let me have my drink. <laughs> <laughs> so Hello, hello? Chiwendo. Um, Chama, how are you? You should know by now. Have you given what I told you a thought? Um, yes, yes. I thought about it, yes. Um, Choma, see, it's a very dangerous path you want to follow. I sacrificed a lot to get here, please. I wouldn't want you to follow the same path. I don't want to believe you called me to tell me this nonsense. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Um, how about offering you two million naira? Mba. Um, okay, okay. I'll make it five million naira. Chiwendo, you can't bribe me with occultic money. You can't. It doesn't last. Listen, don't give me a fish. Show me how to catch a fish. That's what I want. I want to make my own money the way you made yours. Chiwen, Chiwen, please listen to me. I cannot deceive you. You're my sister. With five million naira, you can do any business of your choice and live comfortably. Chiwendo. I gave you an offer. 30 days is remaining 10 days. Bye. Hello? Hello? Chama, hello? To make the money, you must join them. If you can't be them, you must join them. To make the money, the sharp sharp money, you must join them. Are you ready to dance to the chain of the... Stop just here. I am sorry for what happened. It was a tragic loss. So they had the issue of uh, mouth battery with him. I know that right inside the door, you never wished him dead. Pastor, how can I wish my husband dead? How can I? Now it's if I even accusing me of having a hand in his death. <laughs> Very bad of them. Too bad. We both say Kiriyama. Mahakaya Wanda. Hmm. My sister, don't worry. The Lord is there to fight for you. He will fight your battles. And you hold your peace. Oh? Pastor, I don't believe my husband's death was natural. I don't. Please help me, pray. Please help me. You pray? Hmm. I will join the prayer, my sister, but listen to me and listen to God. Eh? The Lord will fight for you. Listen, you will expose whoever is responsible for this. And his grace now. Eh? Remember the book of Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13? He said, nothing is needed before God. Just waiting for time. With time, all things will be exposed. Eh? Shame will be the abortion. Hmm? The Lord will protect you. Stop crying. You go. Hold your peace, my dear. Shall we say this Thank you. Thank you. You have been made with that bad spirit. It's alright. Before we leave, join me in the shop. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the most wonderful name of Jesus. So did you still give her the money? I did. 
but the stupid girl refused. The girl is too daring and stubborn. So why didn't you increase the offer? I even offered her five million naira, but she still said no. Then she must have really made up her mind to join the circle. <laughs> I can't let her join the circle. Not possible, I can't. So you would rather be exposed? Listen, let me tell you. Omelum will not take it lightly with you. Aha, <sighs> uh -huh. that reminds me. Omelum said something about me appreciating the great mother. And have you done that? Done what? I don't even know how to go about it. She said you were supposed to guide me. So why didn't you tell me this all along? Oh, darling, I'm, I'm so sorry. I've been disorganized with my sister's demand and I haven't been thinking straight. Um, yeah, so what exactly am I supposed to do? Nothing much. You are just going to give the great mother a few minutes of pleasure with your body. It means you are going to make love to the great mother. Hmm? But not physically, spiritually. You're going to allow your sister into the great circle. Else you will regret it. in this house. Oh, I've forgotten you are her dog. Where's your wife? Hey, woman, watch your mouth. My wife is not a witch. She is the best woman in this life. <laughs> Where is your wife? You know what? Get out of this house. Get the hell out of this house. Why? I say get out of this house. Oh, yes, she is. You. You. How dare you? How dare you, you witch? You blood sucker. How dare you? How dare you? Listen, ah, don't you come to my house and insult me. Oh. Tell this fool not to come to my house and insult me. Oh. You call this a house? Eve, I regret knowing an evil soul like you. Justina, 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 please calm down. Talk to me. What is the problem? Oh, she will not tell me to calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you know what she did? She killed my husband. Oh, you just come to my house and wrongfully accuse me of killing your husband. I did not kill your husband. Get that into your head. You, you think your evil deed would see the light of the day? She killed my husband right in the presence of his mother. Justina. Oh, Justina, if you were not my friend, only God knows what I would have done to you right now. What will you do? Get out! I should leave you. I said. Get out of my house! Peter, take this idiot out of my house. I will leave your house, but I will not rest 
I'm not done with you yet. Peter, are you still standing? I'm not done with you yet. You will burn for this. Peter, are you still standing? You will burn for get this. Get out of this seat. You have to get, get out of this seat. Get, get out of my house. We can't so. Get out. Evil. I got this woman. That's why you are evil. Rotten fool. Rotten fool. Evil. You will burn for this. Go leave your house. This. You have no business. Sweetheart, please, do not mind that fool, please. Whatever she said against you. Look, you are not a bad person. You are the best woman on earth. I can vouch for you. Oh, shut up! You mistake of a husband. Why did you allow that imbecile come into my house? Sorry. Now get inside. Hmm? Just shut up and get inside! He that kills by the sword must die by the sword Evil for evil oh, Evil for evil Forever evil act you've done You must get your own crime for evil. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. She, she. I wasn't expecting you. I know. I love surprises. That is interesting. <laughs> so, I can see that work is going on really fine. Okay. I can see how we are doing it. Please sit down. Thank you. Ah, Chief, actually, I'd like to use your seat while we chit chat. Okay, no problem. <laughs> the seat is yours. Thank you, Chief. Chief. I missed you so much. Me too. In fact, I missed you more. <laughs> so, what do I offer you? Actually, I don't think I want anything. Chief, there's something I want to discuss with you. Really? Mm -hmm. There's this uh, land my friend showed me in Abuja, somewhere around. Uh, my Tama. I'd like you to acquire it for me. At my Tama? Mm -hmm. Sweetie, you know lands there are on the very high side. Even if it's the cheapest of them all, that's fine. Or if you don't like my Tama, we could do a silk robe. Lands around that circle will come between 150 million and 200 million. You are aware? I am aware. Are you going to do it? For now, I don't have that kind of money. And you already have enough lands here in the city. Are you going to get the land for me or not? The money is more true, and we have not received a location for the boat. sell some of my landed property here in the city eh? so that we will try at least get the cheapest one for you no problem don't worry now you're talking mm -hmm. 
That's my favorite. Make sure you don't disappoint me. No, oh, there's no problem at all. <laughs> Just give me one moment. Eve, I messed up yesterday. What did you do? I almost slept with my client, Chief Bassi, last night. What? Listen, Jimmy, you have to be very careful. Because I will share in your failure as the person who brought you into the circle. Oh? I know. Listen, no man, I mean, no man whatsoever will see your back. They won't request for it unless you make them to. I know. Oh, I know that too. But the man was romancing me so hard. I lost control. Come on, I'm human, you know. My dear, you have to forget the other remarks right now. All you do is to kiss them and stay away. Kissing strengthens the bond. Remember all of that. Okay, that's by the way. About uh, Justina. What? Listen, listen, listen. I don't want to talk about her. Please. I do not. Eve. I remember you telling me something about um, Oblivion Spell. As your friend, tell me the truth. Did you kill Justina's husband? Yes, I did. I mean, I saw Justina with another serious wound on her face. And we all know her husband picks her up. The morning I saw her, she was in so much pain. I had to end the fool's life. That was too cruel. You succeeded in making her a widow. At least it is better than being in that captivity called marriage. Oh. But you know, what still bothers me is how his mother remembered everything that happened. After the oblivion spell I cast on her. That means you have to be really careful. Where she got the truth from. Life in a judge, make you take a busy. Life in a judge, make you take a busy. Life in a judge. You have cost Getting money is not a day job Poverty is a disease Is a disease It can lead you to temptation To frustration It can lead you to commotion That is poverty for you To make the money You must join them If you can't be them You must join them To make the money Shop shop money, you must join them. Are you ready to dance to the tune of the music? So face whatever you see. Are you ready to dance to the tune of the music? So face whatever you see. Shop shop money.